Hey Libra, welcome to your reading. Let's find out what's going on with Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I hope everyone is doing well, Libra. What do we have for Libra? What's going on with Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter? What do we have here? New love. Cut cords with old flames and clean the way for new love. Libra, this could be a very good message for you, especially for those of you who may not be in any connection or relationship right now. There could be a new love coming in. Yeah, And if you're still stuck and in situations that it's very hard to cut through, this could be a, an advice. Yeah, to cut cords with old flames and clear the way for new love. And also clearing the way for new love, that means um, starting with a clean slate, yeah? especially towards the um, incoming year. Out of touch, their ego is getting in the way of love. So it looks like if you are, with, if you are thinking or connecting with someone who hasn't been in touch with you for a while, it's, it's not about you. <laughs> it's always the case, right? It's not about you. It's probably that their ego is getting in the way of love. All right. Libra, let's see what's going on with Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, according to Tarot. What's going on with Libra? Oh, good. For some of you, things are changing, travel, movements, changing, uh, changes, yeah? And changes bring, bring about new beginnings, new chapters, yeah? And sometimes change can be very uncomfortable. Um, for a Libra, it gets double uncomfortable, right? Because... In any change, it can cause imbalance in life, especially if we're not ready for it. If we are, um, it was it. Ha if the change happened um, instantaneously, and so for a Libra, it is um, double effort to stay balanced. Yeah, in any endeavor, in any change that happens in in your life, um, that means that you have to put in an extra effort, Libra, not to. Uh, fall behind too far or not to really go ahead yeah in in terms of mitigating the changes in your life it's more about just trying to be balanced on a day-to-day -day basis uh balancing your emotions balancing your reactions yeah because these changes even if they are uncomfortable they will bring new chapters in your life changes will bring about new beginnings yeah which again could excite you when that time comes yeah at the bottom of the deck we have the eight of swords so for some of you if you are currently undergoing changes in your life changes in your situation it could be relating to love life it could be like a relationship status is changed or that even your your place of work has changed you know or even relating to household matters right it feels like you get into a mode of thinking that with this change, maybe you cannot survive it or maybe you don't know how to fix it. So you get into that mode, right? So I know it's easy to say it, but um, our mind yeah, sometimes would, would bring us these gloomy days, right? Our thoughts, our minds um, can be even driven by emotions. Whatever we think is based on how we feel. And sometimes we think, we consider that as the truth. So if you feel sad, then you start thinking, yeah, everything sucks in life, I feel sad. And that becomes your truth for the moment. Yeah, but that, not, that does not necessarily mean that it's going to last. Yeah, because the wheel of fortune could bring about, you know, sadness or changes or even excitement in your life for, for a fleeting moment, right? 
but that too the change is also not gonna gonna last for long it's 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 um, serving as a transition transition phase to a new start to a new beginning to a new chapter but for most of you let's see i'm getting that this change is actually bringing in new level of experiences in your life for some of you this could even involve travel flying um or creating for some of you i feel like you're creating mixing um solutions so it could be like i don't know creating perfumes making perfumes new blends and things like that all right yes so first okay in terms of love for all right in terms of love i feel like if you are not in any relationship right now libra it looks like you have a new love coming. Yeah, something that you are not expecting. Yeah, or something that is totally um, not your usual, you know, if you have a type. <laughs> this thing or this situation is not your usual scenario, not your usual type. But nevertheless, I feel like you will get yourself, you know, jumping into it. Yeah, you, you kind of, you know, just trust the situation and go through it. This is what I'm getting. And it's a good thing. It's a good feel. Yeah. When I pull out this card, I feel like this type of energy that will be opened up for you will give you this really good feeling. And that could be the reason why you will jump into it and then just, you know, be there for the ride. Yeah. And it gives you that boost of confidence too. And this is something that could bring you more um, the newness, right? Newness in your life. Yeah. It can make you feel good, Libra, whatever this is. So changes in your life can bring about um, forgiveness, even forgiveness towards the person that, you know, the people that you have spent time on. And for some of you, this is actually you forgiving yourself too. That's why you are now ready to start a new phase. Yeah. But this is an offer for, for in terms of love. There's, this could be an offer of love. Somebody um, wanting to um, be closer to you. But let's see. What is this page of cups? Someone is fascinated by you, Libra. Somebody is thinking and um, wondering what you're doing yeah what you're doing how can they get closer to you um what can they tell you in order for you to open up to them yeah what makes you tick and so you have someone here who's thinking what makes a libra tick what can i entice libra with yeah. this could be someone from work too or someone who is willing or wanting to work things out with you. Somebody who may have kept you at arm's length for a while, but um, for now, they are feeling that pull, you know, the emotion pull or the connection pull towards you. And I feel like they want to showcase again what they can and to see whether you would be interested, to see whether you would open up to them. Because ultimately, they want to be around you. They want to be communicating with you. They want to be able to exchange ideas and thoughts and even spend time doing activities with you. Okay. okay. So this person is still very much interested with you, Libra. You have someone around you who's very interested um, and if they have done you wrong in the past, however that may have played out, I feel like this could be the person, you know, reaching out to apologize because they want to work things out with you. And this time, if they push through with, um, you know, with connection or connecting with you pushing through being with you this time they want 
want it to be known to people. So if in the past you were just seeing each other or you're not, you know, you're, you're just trying to get to know each other and nothing was official and then they kept you at arm's length, you know, for example, it could be that both of you are still kind of protecting each other, right? You, you're protecting each other's interests, your own interests, yeah. And um, during that time, the relationship did not really manifest. But as of this moment, I'm getting that this person wants more. Yeah, they want more and they realize too. They're thinking that if they choose this path with you, it could actually bring them more, you know, sense of fulfillment in life. Yeah, it could bring them more sense of fulfillment in life. It looks like what you had in the past with this person is something that they regret. Whatever they've done, especially if they turn their back from you, they did not like that. Yeah. Whoever turned their back, either you turned your back on them or they did. Or, who, you know, whoever stopped the communication, the, the connection, so that person is regretting doing so. Yeah. Especially if the person just left and then, you know, tried to, to f check out what's out there. You know, that sort of thing. This person now is truly regretting that thought. Yeah. Because for some of you, I feel like if that person did you wrong, Libra, you just let it be. And I mean, you let them be. You did not chase them. You also turn your back. And it looks like um, now it's clear towards this person, you know. If they showed you that you didn't matter to them, then that's exactly what they're going to get from you. You know, the Libra, for a Libra, it seems like you just mirrored it out. And that's pretty clear to this person now, how they stand or where they stand. And I feel like they are keeping tabs on you, checking you out. Even if they're not talking to you verbally, right? They're not talking to you regularly. This is someone who, who checks out what you have been doing. Yeah. What you have been doing. Now, next step, I feel like there could be some form of reconnection here this person you see you have the star and the lovers the love that you're waiting for the level of connection that you're waiting for is going to be your next upcoming thing libra so whether it is with this person or something new that will come into the in your horizon this is a new love new deep uh, connection that involves um uh deeper uh connection with someone yeah not just casual encounter and something that is really meant to pass your way i feel like this time the stars are aligning for you and then you're gonna get this type of connection that you're wanting you know why i say connection you're wanting because you're gonna get this one the ace of cups and this is overflowing. This is love, affection, care, um, compassion overflowing to you. Yeah. So it looks like if a connection is, is coming through, it's going to be something that, yeah, it's going to be something that is grounded and given by someone who has really thought about it and not just somebody who, who who came into the picture just because they're free or just because they have nothing else to do and then they're there for you this one is more about somebody who knows how they feel about you and wanting yeah to also make you feel good being around them somebody with who is capable who has so much love to give somebody who is compassionate, somebody who would be willing to understand and to make you happy, to understand how you feel and how to make you happy. Yeah, this is, this could be a soulmate type of connection, Libra. Now, your outcome is the Knight of Cups, an offer, an extension of communication, love, care, yeah, love care and everything else at the bottom of the deck you're you we have the queen of swords which is you 
And that energy talks about, if we talk about relationship or connection, this talks about whatever was in the past, yeah, you've learned a lot from it, yeah. It's over, Ten of Swords, you've been there, done that, and you've learned a lot from it. And, of course, if it's really hard, it was hard for you to deal with, who would want to get, who would want to experience it again? No one, right? So this Queen of Swords is saying that, yeah, that was the past and I've learned from it and that now I am moving on. So whatever this new energy that is coming on board, Libra, this will give you a new start, a new beginning, a new love, a new level of hope. Yeah, that love still matters in life. You can still have that love that you're wanting if, if that is something that you want. And I feel here that somebody is making that decision yeah, to get back your attention, to win you back, to make you happy, and to make it official if they are with you. Yeah. That's something that I am getting for you. All right. Message just for Libra. We drawn, no words, need to breathe. So this person did that. Yeah. No one compares. So you have someone who may have um, sort of withdrawn and separated out from you. They needed that time. Yeah, they needed that time to break off a little bit. Yeah, but so far, if they did their their research, if they did have some time to look at their other options, they also realize now that no one compares to you. And that's likely why they are thinking how to get you back, Libra, and to make it more official. Yeah. I'm getting that this person could be a jealous type of person. Um, in terms of signs, this could be a water sign that you're dealing with. Yeah, so Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And at the same time, can also be, okay, let's just go through the different signs here. I see Gemini, um, Libra, Aries, yeah, and water signs. Aquarius. All right, advice for Libra. Family and heritage. It's time to get back in touch with your loved ones you have been away from. So for those of you who are away from your, um, I don't know, uh, family, relatives, um, here the advice is probably it's time to um, keep in touch with uh, the people that were, they've been away from. Yeah, and toxic triggers. Find the strength to remove yourself from toxic influences in your life. And this cuts across not just about your love life. It also cuts across relationships, whether it is family, relatives, love, work, yeah? Anything that feels toxic to you, it also, and it triggers you, right? It's time to remove yourself from those type of influences. I'm going to leave it at that and let me know if this resonates in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe.